first stitch we're going to learn is called the running stitch. You are going to use a single length of thread, a single uh, width, you're not gonna double it, it's gonna be single, two pieces of muslin together. It might be easier if you pin them together, crossed pinning, so that you can hold them together nice and um, straight. And if you're right-handed, you're gonna start on the right side with your needle in your right hand pointing left. So you're gonna be moving right to left. If you're left-handed, it's gonna be the opposite. You're gonna put the thread in to the fabric and, and then put this, sorry, put the needle into the fabric and then pull it out again. And really what you're doing is you are using your fingers and the fabric and putting it right on to the needle three or four times, and then you're gonna pull the thread through. Now, this has a knot on the end because we're using it as a permanent stitch. In and out, in and out, in and out, and then pull. And you can see it makes very even stitches all along the way. Now, if I were doing this some, for something that was perhaps a historically accurate garment or it was for a quilt, I might even do smaller stitches where I only catch a couple of threads at a time of the fabric. Or if we were basting, you could do really, really big ones. So you can control the width of the stitch by how much fabric you grab and how much you um, must space between each time. At the end, we're gonna knot it. To knot, you go in to the fabric right where you just were, pull, the thread almost all the way through, but not quite. You're gonna leave this little loop here. Okay, put the needle through the loop and pull tight, and then you're gonna do it again right on top of where you were just were. Pull it through, and then you have a very strong knot, and you can snip. Voila!